while another crisis plaguing our communities is that of suicide. To increase awareness about this devastating issue, an annual walk will take place this Sunday at Hazleton Area High School. I had the chance to talk with some of the people who are instrumental in making this important event a reality. Very pleased to welcome to our studios today a great group of people here for a wonderful cause. It is the Help Stop the Silence Walk to Prevent Suicide, and it's being hosted at Hazelton Area High School by their SAD club. Samantha Neiman is the program and walk coordinator for this special event. She's also joined by members of the SAD club, and I know that I have Anthony here with me. Anthony, your full name is? Anthony Martasio. And you're going to tell us who the rest are? <laughs> uh, these are other SAD members. This is Sadie, Caitlin, and Kim. All righty. So we know that we have the crew here from the high school. Samantha, this is a really wonderful event, but it's for a very serious cause. I was looking at the information you sent me, and you said it's the second leading cause of death for our youth 10 to 24 and college students talking about suicide. That's correct, and the numbers are just continuing to climb, uh, sadly. Um, in the case of myself, um, in, in organizing this years ago, my own son had taken his life 10 years ago at the age of 13. And I kind of wish, you know, not kind of wish, I wish that, you know, some programs and whatnot, there were more awareness at the time that perhaps he would have reached out for help. And that is the goal that we're trying to achieve here is to have the, you know, community unite and show their support for people, encouraging them perhaps to reach out for help and also to show support for the loved ones who are left behind to try to decrease these numbers. All right, now the event I said is on May 7th and you guys are all representing the SAD Club. For anybody who doesn't know what that is, tell us what the SAD Club is and what SAD stands for. Well, SAD stands for Students Against Destructive Decisions and it's a group and we try and help promote people from doing any kind of dangerous decisions that may harm them in any kind of way. Now you're involved with this, so the walk's taking place that Sunday, so what do people need to do? do they, can they register that day? What, how does it work? Yeah, you could show up that day and register, and registration is at 12 o'clock in the Hazleton gym. Okay, and then the program starts at 1, followed by the walk. So then um, there's also a lot of other activities that are taking place as well. Uh, Sadie Babadilla is an 11th grade student, a member of SAD. Sadie, what are all the other activities that are happening at the same time? Well, basically, we have vendors um, set up around the gym who basically they're um, either the SAD club, like what our activity is, we are filling up balloons and then having people tie on like, inspiring messages onto them. And then later in the day, we release them outside. And also we have um, vendors from other areas for like mental health institutions that help provide um, guidance and assistance for people who are struggling with these um, with this problem. Now I've seen in the past like kids get together with a group of you know fellow students and that is that what happens they get like kind of teams together or groups together to go to it yeah I mean a lot of people come in like groups with their friends for the walk and stuff and it's just it's a good time so it's a good show of support learning about this and hopefully preventing anyone else from ever thinking of suicide right yeah all right well you all would be commended for supporting this wonderful cause Samantha when they want to register they should just go to the website is that the best way if they want to register in advance Absolutely. Uh, they can register in advance at uh, www.helpstopthesilence.org or can certainly uh, register the day of the event. And after the walk then on Sunday, May 7th, you're having a post picnic, I guess, a post walk picnic. Yes. Following the walk, uh, we will provide everyone with, you know, pizza and something to drink. And it, it gives everyone in attendance an opportunity actually to, you know, be able to unwind and spend some time together with other survivors. All right, well, we hope a large crowd will come out for this event. Again, rain or shine, Sunday, May 7th, Hazleton Area High School starting in the gymnasium. So we hope you will come out. Registration begins at noon, or you can go to their website for more information on this walk. And we don't want to forget about these two lovely young ladies behind me here. They have a message for all of you out there. Whether you're affected by this or not, it's really a worthwhile cause to come out to. Um, everyone of all ages is invited to come out. All right, very well said. Thank you all for being here. Uh, keep up the great work, Samantha. I hope that people get to learn about this so that we don't have to talk about these numbers increasing, but rather decreasing.